there's a park which, since its inception, has functioned as an outdoor laboratory, which we discovered at the Fox Ridge State Park near Charleston. We have 1,800 acres. 80% um, of the park is wooded. We're located uh, mainly on top of one of the old uh, Wisconsinian glaciers. The fingers reached this far south into Charleston. When they receded, they left the uh, glacial remnants here. The park's located on the top part. Our trail system, however, goes down into the ravines and back up the other side, so it creates kind of a unique situation for this part of Illinois. Most of our hiking trails are not flat. We also have a four-mile hiking trail that's along the river itself with another one mile spur on the southern part, so that'll take you along the uh, bottom lines along the Umbra River. We have frontage on five miles of the Umbra River. We have a northern canoe launch and a southern canoe launch. If you put in at the northern one, you can float the five miles to the southern one. Um, it takes you about an hour and 20 minutes. But we have two different hiking trails for the handicap. One's located uh, by Possum Holler and Raccoon Retreat Shelter. Uh, if you're in a wheelchair, it's uh, graveled so that you can take the entire route. It's about a quarter mile in length. It also goes to the uh, handicapped playground equipment. The other one is located near the campground where we have uh, access for a handicapped fishing pier. Uh, and it completely surrounds the pond so you can take a tour of the pond while you're there. We have 43 Class A electrical sites. We take reservations of 12. Uh, the rest of them are first come, first serve. Um, we have a shower building. Um, we offer ice and firewood at the campground host site. Our sites were kind of designed instead of uh, mowed between the sites. There's uh, grass and trees and shrubs between the sites. It gives you an opportunity for the birds to be there between your sites. So you're actually not looking right at your neighbor. You're looking at the trees that are surrounding you. We have uh, three rental cabins in the park. Uh, two of them are similar where they will sleep mom and dad on a on a double bed, and then we have bunk beds for the four kids in a separate room. They're two-room cabins. The cabins have electric heat, they have paddle fans and lights. Outside there's a grill and a picnic table and a night light so you can see what you're doing at night. You have to bring your own sleeping bag and stuff. We provide the mattress. Our thought was that a lot of people would like to experience camping, but they don't know if they want to spend the money to buy the tent and all the rest of this. This gives them the opportunity to come out and see what it's like to stay out overnight out of doors and they can decide if they want to continue on and continue camping. We have one shelter, it's a large shelter. The shelter itself measures 30 by 60. Uh, it was built by the CCC, the Civilian Conservation Corps, in 1943 is when it was finished. Uh, it also has flush toilets. It also rents for the $20, and obviously it's the most popular one that we have, and it's booked basically every weekend from May 15th until end of October. This is Ridge Lake, which was also the dam that we're standing on, and that uh, gate control structure over there was built by the CCCs in 1943. This lake was designed specifically to be used to study fish, because this was the first lake that was built in Illinois that you could actually drain, uh, so they can start over and do a new fish study. It has the uh, recognition of being the oldest continuous fish study in the United States of America. This is located, the stairs to get down to Ridge Lakes, 114 steps down and 114 steps back up. There's no launch on the lake to get another boat in. The lake is open to fishing. Uh, it's on a restricted use. It's open Thursday through Sunday from 2 to 8. The only way you can fish Ridge Lake is if you're using one of our boats. It's free of charge. Uh, you can call and make a reservation for a boat. You have to fish off of the boat. You're not allowed to fish off the shore. Now, the boats all have live wells in them and oars. They want to weigh and measure everything that you catch. If it's legal size, you can keep it, and they'll ask you information about what you were actually fishing for and what type of lures you were using. And the reason is is because they, they want to control the fish. Uh, they want to know how many people were fishing so they can get an idea of pressure, and they want to know exactly what you were using so they can you know, include that in their study. In order to be efficient with their study, they have to know exactly who's fishing, how many people are fishing, how many hours, what you were using, what you were fishing for, that kind of information. For directions or camping information about Fox Ridge State Park, 
Call 217-345-6416. 